Hey guys, thank you for joining us for our noon uh, posting with our 21 days of prayer. You know, this is Friday. We've been going at it all week. It's our first week of 21 days of prayer. And I can already tell you that God is doing some amazing things through the prayers each and every morning. We've been uh, going to his throne and really seeking his presence. And I hope you've been engaged with us um, through our 6 a.m. and our noon posts. And, and we're just in the first week. So we've got a full two more weeks to go um, of this. And, and I can just tell you that every time you engage with us, it means something. I know the presence of God, it gets us deeper into what he has for us. And so uh, today we're praying about outreach. We're praying about our ability to reach out into the community, to reach out into uh, people that maybe might not darken the doors of our church. They might not come in um, of their own accord, but there are ways in which we can reach out to them. And and really the, one of the things that I think about when I think about our, our outreaches and the things that we do is I think about the, the situation and it's in all four gospels where Jesus feels feeds the 4,000 or the 5,000, um, depending on which, you know, he actually does it twice if you haven't uh, read it, but he, he feeds people. And, you know, every time that you see Jesus out in, in the, the community, if you will, and, and granted, uh, you know, he was out and about the entire time, but every time he was out in the community, he was bringing the gospel but he was also bringing relief to a physical need. Maybe that was healing. Maybe that was um, removing of, of the enemy from their life, casting out of demons. And then even to the point that he cares so much about people that he fed them. And so the, the thing that I want to just kind of put before you today and as we're praying about outreach is that oftentimes I find myself and I'm sure that you do too in a place where you go you know does what I give does what I sacrifice does what whatever I have to offer does it really impact or matter right but I, I got to go back to this boy that had five loaves and bread that he offered up to Jesus right offered up to the disciples and Jesus took what he had and actually fed 5,000 people. He took what he had and fed 5,000 people. There was no way that without the um, impact or the, the insertion of the Holy Spirit of Jesus into that situation that those loaves and that fish could have fed that many people. And so I want to encourage you today that as we pray for outreach, it yes, it is about us getting out into the community. It is about us reaching people who wouldn't otherwise come into a church and to point them towards Christ. But I also want to pray against the discouragement of what I have to offer, what you have to offer is not going to make an impact because that is a lie of the enemy. That is not true. There's no basis in the scripture for that. God takes what you have to give and he multiplies it. He does something special with it because you've given it to him. Simply because you put it at his throne, put, put it before his feet, put it for his use, for his kingdom, he multiplies it and he does what only an amazing and impossible um, doing God could do. And so know that today. I encourage you, know that that every time that you give, every time that you sacrifice, every time that you put something and just say, here, Lord, take what I have and use it to reach your people. God does it. And not only does he do it, but he multiplies it. So everything that you do has an impact on the kingdom. And, and I love the, the thought of the pebble in, in the lake, right? We throw the pebble and you hit the pebble in the lake and there are ripples that have an impact. And, and you may never see the true impact of what your gift, of what your sacrifice, of what you offered to God. You may never see it on this side of heaven, but I promise you, there is an impact. Somebody's life is being changed. Somebody's day is being impacted. Somebody is being pointed back to Christ because you made the decision to give. So let's all pray today. Let's let's just uh, spend a little bit of time lifting that up uh, in your daily, in, your, in the middle of your day, all together. Lord, we just come before you, Father, and we thank you. We thank you, Father, for everything that you're doing in, in, in our communities, Father. We thank you for everything you're doing in our church, Lord. We lift up, Father, our outreaches. We lift up all the things that, that we put our hands to, Father. We lift up, Father, all the opportunities that we have to get out into our community and be the hands, your hands and feet, Father. We we thank you, Father, that we have an ability, Father, and, and that only you could do, that we could take the little that we have and put it before you, Father, and that you would multiply 
it and cause it to reach people, Father, that we may never meet, Father, that it would change lives, Father, where we might never never get to. It'll get into places, Father, where, where we never dreamed, Father, that, that we could get into simply because your presence does something amazing and special with every gift we put before you, Lord. And so we pray, Father, that every effort that we do, whether it's uh, bringing food, Father, to people, delivering it to their doorstep, Father, as we did yesterday, or whether it's uh, br- pr- providing them an opportunity to come on campus and pick up food, Father, or if it's simply the work that we're doing on one of our serve days, Father, or one of the activities that we have, or even if it's just giving, Father, even our missions program as we give and as we go out into our communities and just be your hands and feet, Lord. I thank you, Father, that, that you would help us to not look at it as a little thing, Father, because under under your kingdom, Lord, that those little things, the things that maybe we think don't matter, Father, matter to you. And we don't always understand why, but we know that you're a God that multiplies. You are a God that does amazing things, Father, with the little that we have, Father. So let us not view ourselves as insignificant. Let us not view our gifts as insignificant. Let us not view our time as insignificant, but let us view it through your eyes, Father. Let us see the ripples, Lord, of, of what happens every time that we, we drop what we have into the bucket, Father, that we would be able to see all of it come to pass, Lord. And I pray, Father, that everything that we do would point people towards you, Lord. We pray, Father, that your presence would fill them, Father, and whether it's it's just a, a small act, Father, but that it would remind them that there is a God that loves them, Father, and that there are people that represent you, Father, that we love you, we love them, Father, and we just thank you. We thank you, Father, because you are the King of all, Lord, and we know you're doing something amazing here and special here, Father. We thank you, Father, for, for our church and the Tree of Life Church that is here and that is moving, Father, and following you, Lord. We give you honor, we give you glory, in Jesus' mighty name, and everybody he said, amen. Hey guys, thank you for joining us. Keep locking in with us uh, Monday through Friday at noon, Monday through Saturday, Monday through Friday at, at 6 a.m., Saturday at 9 a.m., and then again, we'll pick it up again on the following Monday. So again, guys, we look forward to spending this time in prayer with you. I know God is doing amazing things. Hey, if God is doing something in your life, share it with us in the chat. Let us know. We want to see and hear all about the things that God is doing in your life through these 21 days. Thank you guys. God bless you and y'all have a great Friday. Thank you.